This was the real design for St. Paul's. There's been a church called St. Paul's on this site for over 1,400 years, and it is one of the most undeniably beautiful cathedrals in the world. But it was almost so, so ugly. So the year is 1666, and a small fire in a bakery burns London to the ground. But the time came to rebuild, and big shot architect Christopher Wren is hired to build 51 new churches. But they were chump changed to Wren because his heart was set on rebuilding St. Paul's Cathedral. And this is the wooden model that Wren presented to the clergy. But the clergy, not super keen on change or aesthetic Catholicism, I hate it. Denied his designs and told Ren to come up with something more English. So he gave them what they wanted. And I hate it. <laughs> it's just boring. It doesn't know what it wants to be. Is it a spire? Is it a dome? But the clergy loved it. We love it. So the scaffolds went up and the city awaited its new cathedral. But 35 years later, when the scaffolding finally came down, this is what they saw. Christopher Wren lied through his teeth, hidden under the scaffolding. Wren was building us his masterpiece. It has proudly stood over the city as a symbol of its resilience 